last year sharing the world of financial support where this man <laughs> helps get you out of your crises. Good How morning. About that? And good morning back. and good to see you. Good, good to, to see, see you again. Yes. We just didn't have any exciting news for just No, we period. right, we let it compile. Right? There you go. We, we want to get a nice pile of stuff to talk about. It's been a while. A lot has gone on in the business world, including some exciting stuff, which we'll get into more in depth since we were last here with our folks, that there's some new um, opportunities and abilities for your always, company. You have always. a whole new division open. One thing about my about my business is that there's always new stuff coming up, and there's no, even a re in the recessions and in good times, people need our services. Right. I've been doing this for I've been doing this for over 32 years. 32 years. That's a lot of time. And the stories that you must have compiled to people is a whole I, oh, I got Are you going stories. to do a tabletop coffee book one oh, day? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I have stories and stories and stories. You know, I was talking to, actually, I was talking to our good friend Tanya yesterday. Oh, how's she doing? And her daughter's helping me with a website. Good. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and, and I asked her how old her daughter was because mm -hmm. she's very intelligent and she's doing a good job. And I said, you know, I've been doing this longer than your daughter has been around. Just oh my to gosh. put that in oh perspective. That, that's one of those like age, I just dated myself kind of things. <laughs> you know, what were you doing 32 years ago? Let you know, I think I have to subtract off. I was a couple of years into my marriage, actually. You know, I had a client I made a settlement for workman's comp a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she was involved in her workman's comp case for over 19 years when she hired me. So let's say it took a year or so to settle that. So for over 20 years, she was involved in her in her workman's comp case. And when I settled the case, both the attorneys, the one for her and one for the insurance company, they both said to me, we make more money, keep her in the system than we do resolving it. <laughs> so they got paid. They got paid to keep her in the system. Gotcha. <clears throat> and it's kept on feeding her drugs. You know. Sure, sure. And we settled it for like three hundred thousand dollars. That's not bad. Now is she off the meds though? Is she off the medications and has gone on to feel. I <laughs> would assume so. I don't know. I don't do. I in my business, I really don't do follow up. Gotcha. You know. It's, gotcha. It's, well, listen, for folks who've been following the debt lifeline now for as long as Rob and I've been doing the show over the years, you guys have all heard about the great success stories that uh, have taken advantage of Rob's wonderful way of representing you and me and those in need. So we're going to continue on with some more stories. We're going to have guests over the course of the weeks as we continue to do the show and filling you in on more and more opportunity, including this wonderful new division that he has started that will help Correct. certain segments. We're, we're just introducing our right? new division, which is perfectly timed for the show. And, you know, I think we should also say hello to a few people in the chat room. Go right ahead. We're, well, uh, actually, I, there's some people in there, but they have not shown up. They're just watching. They haven't posted anything. Okay, as well, I know that John is listening. I know that John Herb is listening. Florida, right? And I know that Monique is listening. Yeah. I know that Andy's listening. So I know we have our normal... They followed so, us. We tried to hide, but they I keep know, following us. I know. <laughs> they tracked us down. By the way, you will note, though, that we are at a new studio. We're coming now out of the Worldwide Digital Broadcasting Studios here in Las Vegas, www.dbtv.com. And check this out. Go to Roku. WWDBTV has a Roku channel. Just download it. And guess what? If you don't get enough of us, you can go on to Roku and see us even again for all the information that Rob will share, phone numbers, data, information, anything that you would like to revisit. Plus, it's right here going to be saved on the Facebook page. I'll tell you where else they can do it, too. Where? I'll tell you, they can always just email me or call us and say, send us the link. There you go. Well, because you're... we know that Alex yes. will take the link, and she'll you know, add it to the web, you know, our website and our portfolio. It should whatever. be on your signature line, too, when you send emails. Put a link to the page. How's Great that idea. For an idea. That's a good idea. So every time you send an email, they have the link to the show. That's a good idea. But we do send out <laughs> we do send out information <laughs> to new people, uh, new prospects, or new clients. We send them all of our company information and uh, YouTube's and things like that. Your timing couldn't have been more perfect because Monique is in the chat room. Monique's in Florida now. We're coast to coast. Monique has moved to Florida. In the middle of that hurricane is when she moved. Uh, well, about that, a month I ago. think she created that hurricane. <laughs> Um, so we have an office in Florida yes. in, in a town called Hallandale. Okay. And so I know that uh, Monique and Irv are listening to the show in Hallandale. And we have an official office there now. And we're launching our, our new division. And 
Lots of new services and products as Absolutely. well, too. Absolutely. And of course, some of the uh, advertisers and supporters of our show, we'll hear more from them throughout as we take our breaks from Ernie the Attorney. Uh, we've got Andy out in California, your, your accountant who helps your clients. We've got yes. people here that are affiliated with Rob that is here as part of his support team to help you deal with and, whatever issues you have. And when we talk about, the, about Andy being the CPA and the accountant, He's really there for tax resolution problems. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're mm -hmm. not. He's not looking for being, you know, doing tax returns. Right. We solve problems, mm -hmm. and 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 all of my my staff and my um, support system, we solve problems. Absolutely, absolutely, and that's the beauty of of what Rob's offered over the thirty plus years that you've been doing this. As you mentioned before, Rob's. By the way, for those who don't know. Rob's originally from New York, if you couldn't tell by his accent. <laughs> but, but I'll tell you what, though, that background of coming from the East Coast, as I, as I am also from the East Coast, I think serves you well for your clients because when you represent them, you know, us East Coasters, there's a, there's a uh, people think of us as the tough skin. East Coast no, values, maybe. The East Coast values, yeah, the, the no BS, you know, we yeah, don't take it. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a bully You're and a straight thug. You're a shooter. And, You're a straight I'm shooter. right to the point. <laughs> You know, I have a, another friend of mine, a CPA named Chris, and we're doing another venture together too, but not for the show. Mm -hmm. And Chris's expression is, hit me right between the eyes, and I'm right there, Long Island Jew Blunt. Yes, that's, that's um, right. Now, I've written a couple of books about debt yes. and credit, yes. and I don't know if we have it here. No, not yet. We'll, we'll work on getting all the okay, files we'll ready. Get you, we'll get you the book uh, here. But they can uh, go to your website, is, right? Yes. Which is? Taking, is rgolstonconsulting.com. Okay. And we have a new website being built in our new new division. But if they go there, they can download that wonderful book you've written. For free. That puts people to sleep Taking according charge, to your words. Taking charge of your debt and credit. Yes, I tell people, read three pages before you go to bed. <laughs> you get the best night's sleep you ever had. There you go. But truly, though, it's it's got a great ton of information. That And this listen, many people try to DIY solving their credit issues, right? Do it yourself. Many yes. people try to do that. They think, oh, I'll just call the credit card company and you know, I'll be able to talk to them. Well, let me tell you something, folks. First of all, you'll stay on hold forever. And Rob has a way to get through all of that. But more importantly, he knows how to talk to these people and he knows how to take care of those arrangements so that you or I don't have to be the one sitting on the phone screaming and looking for supervisors just for somebody to do, say hello to. Do you know that I have, I think, three do it yourself sections on my you, website. You do. And nobody, yes. nobody is taking advantage of the do it yourself. <laughs> I offer I offer many services to people that they can do it themselves. They can buy my all my systems for that for pennies. Or I'll even teach people how to do it themselves and nobody can do it themselves. Nobody wants to do it themselves. Whatever we do is is tedious. Mm -hmm. It is you know it's years of experience. Sure, I've acquired these special skills mm -hmm. over the past thir over thirty two years. Because before this business, I was actually going into businesses doing business turnarounds. Right. So I really could say I've been doing this for thirty five years. Sure. And sure. I've acquired a lot of special skills and know how that people just they can't do it themselves, and it's not worth it. They, they and, can't and, accomplish what I accomplish. And it's like what you're just saying. You don't wake up in the one, one day as you're going into college and say, well, I want to help people with their financial crisis like Rob Goldstein does. It doesn't necessarily Boy, work. No, no, there's, no, no, there's, no there's no school for <laughs> no, this. No school. I, I will tell you it's that. It's a school of hard knocks, really. I graduated Phi Beta Kappa from the right. school, or University <laughs> of Hard Knocks. <laughs> uh, I sold two businesses back in the 80s. Right. And then for a few years, I did uh, business. I helped people do business turnarounds. Mm -hmm. And then... I ran across a bankruptcy attorney mm -hmm. along my travels who actually put me to bankruptcy law school. Okay. And uh, I learned the bankruptcy ropes to help me with my business turnarounds. Mm -hmm. And then one thing led to another. That company at the time, this I'm going back 30, over 30 years ago, was called Financial Solutions. Okay. And then. Um, but it was a catapult at that time. For where you are today, exactly. To it, it was a springboard to right. get me where I'm at now, and the pro the reality is, is I solve problems. And so let's talk about that before we get ready to go into our first break here uh, of of today's show. Let's just kind of recap in general the types of services that you do offer to help people when they need support in that financial crisis. Well, first and foremost, we we talk about debt. People have credit card debt or credit line debt, mm -hmm. or they have commercial debt somewhere or another. And I know how to reduce that debt greatly. Now, I don't 
reduce the credit cards and keep you in the system again. Just and we don't do we don't do um, lower interest payments. Mm -hmm. We make settlements. Settlements. We get you know ten thousand dollars down to a couple grand or so mm -hmm. on the on the on the average. And these are settlements. Right. Okay. These are for people that can't pay their bills. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it's a lot more than just that, though, in terms of the, the credit card debt. You, sp you are also available for specialized cases, such as our friend who had the VA issue for all those years that we talked yes. about. Yes. Um, we call them um, helping people with bureaucratic red tape or bureaucratic... CF. Cluster Fox. Charlie Fox. <laughs> Charlie Fox, as they say in the military. Yeah, we have to make sure Roku is okay with our terminology. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got the thumbs up on that no, one. I so, so Lorena came to me. Lorena came to me maybe five years ago. Sure, she spent about ten years chasing down the VA, mm -hmm. trying to get assistance from her husband who died of Agent Orange. Right, and he had everything, every ailment in the world, and she had all the ammunition. And they kept on doing deny, deny, deny. Right. So I put together the package. Um, they said that the ship didn't exist, and Vietnam didn't exist, and he didn't exist, and and. What weapons do what nuclear weapons and I put together a whole portfolio for her uh, with pictures and and charts, pictures of him handling nuclear weapons, mm -hmm. picture of him on the ship with his buddies in Vietnam with the Vietnam logo in the background, right, you know, right. things like that. The picture of the ship and, and, and they, the proof. And they came right back and said, oh, that Vietnam. Oh, oh that ship. Uh. Oh, those nuclear weapons. That's right. We're, we just, oh, that's right. I should have had a V8. Yeah, now I remember. Right, you know. <laughs> so we got her a monster settlement. Yes. And so I do solve problems like that. And of course, these are big, these are bigger cases. And yes, when you're in business, you want the big job. Okay. Right. I mean, let's face it. Sure. If you're a contractor, you want to go and fix a big commercial building. You add a wing to a big commercial building or a wing to a big house. Right. Instead right. of just fixing a, you know, a, a, a fix squeaky door. door. Right. Absolutely. But the reality is there's almost no job too small. We take on all clients. We want to help all people. And mm -hmm. you just never know. Oh, about 20 some odd years ago, a bankruptcy friend of mine, bankruptcy attorney, a friend of mine, gave me a client that couldn't get his student loans discharged. Mm -hmm. They were $14,000. And I'll never forget, and I, took, I did all the work myself. I mm -hmm. got it down to well below 7000 I saved him one fifty percent I saved him about, about 60%. And he referred me to his girlfriend who had fifty thousand dollars of the debt mm -hmm. she referred me to her two daughters who <laughs> both had a ton of debt and so it this is how my right. business the operates fall. Right. it is so satisfy one um, client the rest will come i have clients coming back to me after 20 years ago clients call me up and say do you remember me from 20 years ago and the actually is i do right um i have a great memory mm -hmm. so i remember these so people come back so i'm a I'm a, a go-to guy per se. Absolutely. So we talked about debt. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm kind of going off a little bit, but we talked about debt. We talked about uh, bureaucratic clusterfucks, right? Or bureaucratic red tape. Mm -hmm. but we also help people uh, to um, modify their mortgage payments. Mm -hmm. A lot of people gotten couldn't make their payments during during COVID times, right? And some of the banks aren't giving away the programs that they want to get, that, but they're Banks are paid to give way sure. to help people with loan mods. Sure. Now, of course, we're facing a new thing. Rates have gone from Things two, two or three percent. Yeah. Right. I think there may be six or seven percent now. Right. I don't right. follow the daily take mm -hmm. on rate. I don't follow the daily take on how much gold is worth. Um, but we help people with those problems. Student loans is a big problem. Mm -hmm. um, the government has programs to to cancel certain student loan debt. Some I agree with. Some I think there's better programs. How about mm -hmm. that? And we've talked about that. We'll we'll kind of revisit some of those for we will. new audience. We will. Here. There's um there there are programs out there, mm -hmm. but we help people who are eligible get what they're eligible for. Absolutely. Now the biggest the biggest um, thing that or service we provided during the car, time of COVID was the EIDL idle EIDL mm -hmm. e economic injury disaster yep. loans. We're going to get ready to go to our first break already, Mr. Rob. Can you believe it? 
first break already going in. I want to shout wow, out we'll to just, our friend we'll just, Jennifer in Hawaii. She's she's here in our chat room with us. Hello, Jennifer. We I met you. Jennifer. I know you did. So that's why she's here in the chat room with us this morning. She's a kindergarten teacher out in Hawaii. Wow. It's actually, what, about 6 a.m. out there now? So she's just getting up and having her job of getting ready for Boy, the classes. Waking, waking up to us. <laughs> if you want to reach out to Rob, his phone number is 702-701-2992, right? Correct. Whew, good. My memory is good. So you can give him a call at any time. He does offer a free consultation to help figure out what is the best plan of action for you in your situation. With and that, a free book. And the free book, which is guaranteed to stop your coffee table from shaking as you uh, read it. Anyway, with that, more on the book, more on the new division. Still a lot to cover. That's Rob. I'm Aaron. You're watching Debt Lifeline. We'll be back right after this. Reber Tax Advisors, the leader in tax problem resolution. Our team provides clients with customized solutions for their tax audit representation, collection matters, and delinquent or problem tax filing needs. Led by Andrew Grieber, CPA, they work directly with small business owners and individuals to assess their situation and work to resolve their tax problems direct with the proper federal or state authorities. Call area code 949-379-6480. That's 949-379-6480. If you're in a mess with the IRS, call Grieber Tax Advisors and stop the stress. Trustworthy and experienced attorneys can be hard to find. The locally owned law office of Ernie A. Bush Jr. has decades of experience practicing law in the areas of bankruptcy, family law, wills and trusts, and injury law. Ernie the attorney makes every effort to obtain the best possible outcome for you and your case. If you want honest advice, straightforward rates, and no hidden fees, call Ernie the attorney today at 702-388-0222. That's 702-388-0222 or visit www.bushlawlv.com. And welcome back to the Dead Lifeline. Aaron Phillips, Rob Goldstein here. And we're just kind of recapping the first segment was about all the Rob offers because we have a brand new audience for the most part here at the Worldwide Digital Broadcasting Studios and the Roku channel for Worldwide Digital, www.dbtv.com. <laughs> That's a lot easier to say in the Worldwide it's WWDBTV. Sounds like it should be like an SNL skit station. Did you ever notice that? I don't know what for it's live from Las owner, Vegas. Exactly. It's... The owner of the studio and his the the uh, our operator, our board operator today, he's I know him long enough to know that he had that in mind when he came up with the letters. Do you, so. do you remember the best my favorite skit from Silent Live? Probably the newscasters. Well, I loved it all. I loved old oh, the old classics. Okay, the old yeah, classics. Well, I'll, I'll tell you which was my favorite. One skit that that sticks out to me the most okay. was John Belushi and Joe Cocker doing a duet. Oh, was and John Belushi. Belushi oh. John Belushi did Joe Cocker. Better, better than Joe than... Cocker did <laughs> Joe Cocker. And I understand, you know, you talk, you heard that Joe Cocker was pissed, but yes, he, was he, he, he imitated Joe Cocker. Like Joe Cocker, they were you couldn't tell who was who. It was it was incredible, and I don't know if he's able to pull these things up on the air so quickly. But well, anyway, we've got a YouTube; it's out there. We were sure. we were talking about yes. the idea loans. Yes. Now that that process lasted for a couple of years. The mm -hmm. government was lending money to to, to businesses mm -hmm. or people in a in is even if they're self employed. Right. Uh, called the economic injury disaster loan. It's part of the SBA. Mm -hmm. Round two was harder because they they scrutinized mm -hmm. and rightfully so because round one they were giving people way they're right. giving the wrong monies away. The, right. It was a, it was a it was a free cluster. for all. It was a free for all. Right. Um, but that was the mainstay of our business for the couple of years. Mm -hmm. the, and just to let you know, the the COVID EIDL is no longer correct. COVID EIDL, mm -hmm. which but what. What has taken its place today, which has always been around, is disaster loans. Mm -hmm. For example, the hurricane that Monique caused in, in, <laughs> in Florida. Traveling up. Cost, Are you going to rename it Hurricane Monique? Cost, I thought it was that. Oh, mm -hmm. Sorry. Co caused, uh, cost the SBA and the government sure. you know, billions of dollars, right. Monique, <laughs> because she flew into my, she drove into Miami drove. And, caught, and brought the hurricane with her. But uh, so we actually do uh, disaster loans as mm -hmm. part of the FEMA, FEMA program. Mm -hmm. 
and we also do those. So maybe this is not as prevalent per se as COVID, the idea of COVID's right. work, but it's prevalent. Sure. Well, anything with those natural disasters where they try to offer relief is important. Well, sure it is. Right. Sure it is. And um, people have asked me to help them with all those, and I'm mm-hmm. working on one right now for one of the good friends of the show, Keenan. Okay. I know Keenan. Keenan, also a victim of, of a hurricane in in. in in New Orleans. Oh, okay. Whatever went on in New Orleans. New Orleans. We did New Orleans. We love you, New Orleans. So, so in from the as a spinoff or maybe the aftermath of the EIDL loans mm-hmm. is helping women and minorities get funding. Right, and that spurred a whole new thought process for you. Yes, that called over the last couple called of months. commercial and finance commercial CMF commercial and minority. Funding Consultants, CMF Consultants. And CMFconsultants.com is the website now. .net. I'm just reading what uh, a Hurricane Monique, if it's .net, then she's wrong. So I'm just reading <laughs> off what you put in the chat room. So let's clarify that, please, Monique, shall we? Okay, we busted. Just look up CMF Consultants and it'll pop up and we'll figure okay. out the .com, so .net. We, we've, we started this new division uh, called CMF Consultants, Commercial Minority Funding. Actually, she's right. I read it wrong. It is .net. Sorry, Monique. Boy, I caught you missed twice I caught you today. I know. Well, it's been a long weekend for me, which is a whole other topic. I worked a whole weekend convention. But anyway, the I uni- digress. It was the Unicorn Convention, right? Uh, Unicon, because Unicorn. it was Fandoms United, of, but there were a lot of unicorns there <laughs> dressed okay. up as cosplay. But anyway. So let's talk about, let's talk about CMF. CMF yes. is the abbreviation for right. Commercial and Minority Funding yep. Consultants. Now, we use the word consultants because we're not lenders. People mistake us for being lenders. We're not lenders. Mm-hmm. We're, we're, we actually package and bring you to various lenders, whether it be the SBA or other government agencies mm-hmm. or private lenders. We, we, we package businesses and people who want to start a business right. to get loans and grants. The... Uh, focus here is women and minorities. Now, the next question you you probably can say is, aren't women the majority in the population? Right. And um, the answer is yes, but they're minorities in businesses. Right. Right. So we offer uh, helping women get into businesses. We also have another focus is we're going to be hosting workshops helping people to start a business. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to be marketing to the women and minorities to how to start a business. And we have a whole checklist of things that need to be done, like getting, getting an Your entity, licensing, and, right, licensing all the paperwork, sure. all the compliance, sure. mm-hmm. get a website, get a business plan, establish banking and a CPA and, and have, you know, what's your marketing going to be? Sure. I mean, so we sure. help people focus on that and, and the workshops are going to be totally free. Mm-hmm. Uh, the work that we're going to do for them afterwards will be charged basically sure. upon whatever the 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 person mm-hmm. whatever, whatever the setup needs. requires. Right? Correct. Sure. So let's talk about the women for a second because I want to. My I, favorite subject. I just, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Join us other than anyway. Um, you're talking about women who who are wanting to go into business, but we've talked in the past that there's usually a parameter of time that a woman in business has to have experience in that business, unless I'm mixing up some details here. Well, the SBA, in traditionally, they want you to be in that business for two years. Mm-hmm. They don't want a person waking up saying, I want to today start a business as a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Do you have any experience in a restaurant? No, I was a dress designer, you right. know, that type of thing. So SBA loans usually require some tenure in the business. Mm-hmm. However, there are some startup opportunities for, for women and minorities. Uh, to start a business okay. and start their own business. Now they have to have something going for themselves. Here. Sure. Um, so if they have business background, mm-hmm. they have some assets, they have something they can get. There, there's funding for that. Some if collateral they, things, right? If they have um, a a politically correct business they want to start, they get more. They get more advantages. Gotcha. If a person was, let's say, in nursing and wants to start a an assisted living facility, okay. that may be a great entree. So there's there's great opportunities for women mm-hmm. in this in t- today. So today's buzz is women mm-hmm. and um, also minorities. So if you're a woman and a minority, when I say minority, I'm talking about ethnically minority. Right. 
when you're a woman and an ethnically minority, mm -hmm. you have even double the, the opportunities. opportunities. So if you are, let's say, a an educated woman from, let's say, Jamaica, and come and has come here and now is and is a, is a doctor. Okay, okay, because we know one. I'm giving an example of one yep. that we know. Yep. Then, if that's the case, you have a lot of advantages to getting to getting great funding sure. opportunities. Sure. Now, what goes into this? You just can't show up at the door and say, "Hey, I'm a woman and I'm a minority and I want money." It's not like the guy who dressed as a girl in that swim meet last year, you know, right. did right. that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to go through the entire certification process right. to verify that you are who you are, mm -hmm. which, by the way, is a pain in the neck to do, but right. it's tedious. And there's a lot of work for the client, and a lot of work that we do. We have a person that specializes in our company that does only that. Mm -hmm. But it's to make it so that they don't have the free-for-all like they right. did with the EIDL right. and the PP. Right, the PPPs. Peace. Yep, because there's a whole bunch of stories you can go back through the uh, news cycles to see how those loan opportunities were actually well taken advantage of by individuals who did not, who, who applied, but improperly used the funding. Now, sure. you, you mentioned SBA, and I think this is a good segue to this. We have a good friend of ours that you mentioned earlier that has something going on tomorrow that let's take a few seconds and let's talk about it. I know. John has the flyer and information. He'll pop that up on the screen for us, and then we can talk about that and share the news that uh, Tyne just got something going on. Let's talk about it. So let's see what that uh, on. Can we see it on the screen? I, no, I have it here. You, you have it up. It's on screen. They okay. can see it. You and I cannot, but I have okay. it on my phone. Our our friend Tanya has is has um, started an insurance uh, and annuities program. Mm -hmm that she's hosting an event tomorrow okay so i can't see the screen so that's okay you can see I, the screen i have it in front of me then, so we're all set to go it's a, a documentary that was uh prepared called the baby boomer dilemma which focuses on the greatest financial challenges of today it's going to be at uh, 6 30 p.m is the viewing tomorrow night uh check in is at 6 p.m at the amc rainbow promenade 10 that's right there on rainbow and smoke ranch for those who need a little idea as to where uh, that area is. Tanya Matthews is, uh, as she said, we're pre she's presenting this. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to her at TLM, Tom Larry Mary Wealth.com, or you can call it direct at 951-201-6591. You can email her at info at TLMwealth.com. Um, spouses, couples are welcomed. I would even recommend that you know, if you have a young baby boomer too, they should go because knowing her as well as you and I do, this is going to be well worth seeing this documentary. Absolutely. If anybody has any questions and they can't reach her or they forgot the information, they can always call your me. That's right. And you can call Rob at 701, I'm sorry, 702-701-2992, or you can call me or just reach us out through the Facebook page uh, that you're watching the show on and we'll be happy to respond. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's great. We've known Tanya. I met her a while back at, at, uh, at, at an event and she's, she's great. Okay. So, um, presenting her stuff. You. So, all right, let's get back on track. CMF go, let's go back to that since it was a good segue. So w the, the focus again is on women and minorities. Yep. And, um, if you, if you, are a woman a minority you want mm -hmm. to get into business mm -hmm. the government is giving you great opportunities right you have to go through the process and get certified mm -hmm. it is a long and tedious process but we do the work for you mm -hmm. um yes we charge mm -hmm. but it's nominal compared to what the end result will be absolutely well well worth the uh, well worth the investment in addition the sba i'm sorry the sba has no, okay. come out with new programs as well too mm -hmm. if i could segue there yeah where they're allowing you to take money out, a takeout. Now, what is a takeout loan? Okay, a takeout loan is, when, let's say, when you own a home and you want to refinance it and you get money out, mm -hmm. you know, out from there, it's called a takeout loan. Okay. So in this particular case, the SBA is now offering takeout money as well, too, on some of their programs. Now, all these programs change. Now, is that different? Is that like a refi? No. It's something That's different. where you can get additional money as working capital. Gotcha. Okay. Very cool. Okay. 
Jennifer's saying goodbye. She has to go leave for her class in the chat room. So say goodbye, Jennifer. So what do you say in, in Hawaiian? Aloha. Aloha. Yeah. Aloha, Aloha means hello and goodbye like Shalom does. Okay. <laughs> it's hello and goodbye at the same time. But she is watching it. She will pick up the show. And you know that Paul McCartney podcast. says Shalom now too. Does he really? Yes. Well, I know he's part of, but I didn't realize he says that. <laughs> That's good for us. Maybe it'll be in the next Adam Sandler song or something for Hanukkah. I don't there, know. There you is go. he already in there? No. Paul McCartney's not in that song? No. It's got to be another rendition coming out. So. And, neither, and neither is Ringo. Adam Sandler, you better update your song. <laughs> <laughs> so how can people, I've given the phone number, what's the best way for folks to talk to you about the CMF product line and company now? What's the best way that they can reach out? They can that? call me at 702-701-2992. Mm -hmm. We also have an office in Florida. They can call us on the Florida line, which I don't have handy. You might have it. Um, well, uh, our good friend uh, Monique wants us to ask me to remind the audience that there are a lot of loans and grants out there that women and minorities are not aware of, which is where the consultant that's right. part comes in. That's right. And uh, that's part of also the workshops you're going to do and share that's all right. that information too. Let's talk about the workshops. How are they being developed? Are they going to be one on one? Or are they going to be online they're gonna be, courses? They're probably in the state age going to be Zoom. Okay. Zoom call. Okay. Zoom, Zoom workshops. Zoom uh, Monique is in charge of that. Okay. We're putting a lot on Monique. That's that's the that's what she gets for causing the hurricane. That's right. And we're going to be going to um, all sorts of groups. I mean, mm -hmm. there, there must be tens of thousands of business groups. Mm -hmm. For anybody that has ever been on Meetup before, mm -hmm. Meetup M E E T U P Meetup. Yep. Meetup is a, an organization that has organizations, right? Yep, the uh, different network, any type of organization, networking groups or like AMA, American Mel, whatever it is, you could have it's a, a great site for all of that. You can have a bowling league, bowling right. league mm -hmm. on Meetup, a bowling a group of people that love bowling or right. love movies or love to go out with dry, wine drinking, right, right, or other mm -hmm. crazy things. I mean, there's there are groups for every type of imaginal thought mm -hmm. on there. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of networking groups, mm -hmm. business groups. Um, you'll find a lot of ethnic uh, business groups out there. And there's even chambers that are specific to Absolutely. You know, in Las and... Vegas, we have the Latin Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. downtown. Yep. Which is extremely big. And I've spoken, Absolutely. I've spoken there before many years mm -hmm. ago. So uh, we are going to be going out to all of these, we're going to hit up all these groups, okay. offering them free workshops to all their, all their members. Okay. For the services that we provide, helping people get into business mm -hmm. and ultimately getting funding. It's a good way to get into the business world. So, where's the best place for folks to stay on top of when these workshops are available? Registration is, are you creating a CMF meetup page for people to follow? Yes, Monique has it. It's called um, Women and Minority Funding 101, I believe. Okay. Is that correct, Monique? Well, she'll let us know. And that's the group name on Meetup? Yes. Okay, that's good to know. She will correct you. Trust me. I know she will. <laughs> I know she will. I know she, she certainly will. Will that group also be duplicated on other platforms like Facebook? For yes. Instance? So yes. That, that same. The, na the name of that group, I believe, is Women and Minority Funding 101. Okay. And it'll be on every social media site okay. that we can get on. Okay. That's cool because the more we can get this information out there to help, especially in this economy and and people's lives upside down and trying to straighten them out and do different things where jobs have been eliminated, things like that. This is a great opportunity for in, for women and minorities to uh, reestablish themselves perhaps in a way they never thought they, they could. Well, I'm gonna tell you that um, things have changed in the workforce. Mm -hmm. You can't get people to come into the office anymore these days. Nobody it's, wants to anymore. Nobody now, wants right? to. Yeah. Our, our, our lives have changed Yeah. Uh, because of COVID. Yep. Everything's changed. I mean, everything changed well, roughly 20 years ago with 9-11. Mm -hmm. uh, we who are old enough to experience all these changes, our lives have changed. Right. Having um, businesses where everybody comes into the office may not be as prevalent as they used to be. Mm -hmm. I think they're still there, but some people, getting help is hard to find. How about that? Well, that's why when you call into these, these call centers for any reason, even a credit card or DMV or wherever it is, you know, people are on hold for almost three hours because there's just not enough manpower to handle those calls. Number and one, and the calls are being are being funneled to the, to various dispersed. sources. And some of them and are at home. And, and by and the other, way, even yeah. at the SBA, by yeah. the way, yeah. the calls are going to people's homes. Right. There's not a big factory where they work. Yeah, not you know, anymore. It's, so it's changed the whole flow 
of why we're on hold longer now for certain Correct. things and, and try and when they're at home, they don't have access to the files like you were just alluding to that you would have by just getting up and walking over to a file cabinet, which I guess nobody really does anymore because everything is online. <laughs> well, you're but anyway, but dating it, yourself. I know really, I, geez, I've been doing that too long, but it does change the way everything is operating now. Um, my gas station, they're remodeling the inside of the store. It's closed until remodeling is done, but yet you can still get gas only if you pay by cart. Right. You don't have the option for cash anymore because right. the store is closed. And there are some well, restaurants you go to. Everything is fast cashless. Food is, it's cashless. And by the way, I got to tell you something. Because there's so much theft going on. Right. That I, I applaud a person who opens up a store and it's, and it's credit card only or debit card right. only because everybody has a credit card, debit sure. card these days. Well, that's not good for those who are on the streets asking for handouts when everybody's you know holding you know, credit cards. Something, but. something, yeah, right. Those people they have they have their own little <laughs> that's right. That's right. Their machine. Little machine. You know, <laughs> one thing we didn't talk about yes. before when you asked me about some of the services we provide mm -hmm. is helping people that are victims of fraud. Yes. Good time to probably segue into that. Sure, we can do that. We help people that are victims of fraud. I mean, everybody is going to get hit. I mean, you, at it's, some point, it's inevitable. It's, it's, it's a pandemic itself, right? right. Okay, Absolutely. identity theft and fraud. Mm -hmm. There are so many schemes and scams. You just have to watch out for you. Every time you're ready to buy something that's not going into a store. By the way, I understand that mm -hmm. Las Vegas had a crackdown last week somewhere. Some stores, a store selling fraudulent items. Wouldn't surprise me in this town. I know of a location last week that was just raided because of... On Maryland Parkway, right? Okay, yes. Uh, I don't want to mention the name of the location, but it's on the corner of Maryland and Desert Inn. Um, so, yeah, there was, a, there, was one, there was an issue there with counterfeit money. Some drugs were being laundered through uh, some of the, the, the locations in there. But the police found them, cracked down, and took care of it. But people are trying to figure... And those people are not the your neighbor people who are doing what we just talked about, but everybody's trying to find a way to make that extra dollar. My newsfeed, I see nothing but how people are doing their side hustles and making thousands of dollars a month doing things on the side because they need money today. People need well, that financial it's, it's, support. It's, listen, everything's going up, but your paycheck, right? Exactly. Exactly. You know, we're all, uh, you know, ideal people that are going through hard times, right. generally speaking. Mm -hmm. Now it's not to say that, uh, I used to market to financial planners. People, Financial planners are people who help people manage their money right. and so forth. I marketed to them because they they occasionally had a client with a lot of money. Mm -hmm. They had a problem somewhere where right. they got defrauded, or they had a problem with their credit, because mm -hmm. we do credit repair too. Right. Or they got uh, scammed, mm -hmm. or they just missed something. You know, right. So it's everybody will get hit. Right. Something happened. And that's the bottom line. So as we like to say, as you can see on the logo behind us, the bottom line is the debt lifeline. Rob is here to help you with your financial crisis. He is your lifeline. He is your life preserver. Anything that you need, he is there to give you advice, direction, and support, and the best way to handle your situation. With that, I know we're a few minutes early, so I'm stalling for a second to let my producer know that we're about mm. ready to go to a commercial. He is ready. So with that- Is it that time again? It's almost that time, yes. With that, we're gonna step aside for a minute, don't go anywhere. The Debt Lifeline will be back with more right after this. How would you like to temporarily cripple creditors so you could buy time to protect yourself to achieve whatever it is that you need to do? Just like using a stun gun with scenes from a James Bond movie, this video will show you what you can do and learn free information on 13 dirty secrets to trump the creditors and survive in today's world. Do you feel like the walls are caving in on you? Overwhelmed by debt and bills, no matter what you do, your world seems to be crashing down on you. What if we could stop, slow down, or freeze time, allowing you to find the right solution? Do you feel that every time you see a light at the end of the tunnel, it's really a train coming at you? What if I could show you how to legally derail that train? You've probably felt as though your opportunities are limited because you don't quite fit into any viable option. Almost as though you're a square peg trying to fit into a round hole while facing upcoming foreclosures, repossessions, legal matters, or collections. Maybe the answer is simpler than you think, but you can't put things together while drowning in stress and deadlines. What if I could show you how to trump the creditors and monsters that are pulling down on you? It doesn't matter where you live or how much money you have or don't, your job or your assets. There is a legal way to buy time so you can stop 
slow down or freeze your current situation, allowing you to avoid stress and save money. from our producer are we back sir we are back welcome to the debt lifeline <laughs> rob goldstein and Ira phillips here the debt lifeline where rob is the guy that'll help you with any financial crises that you might have everything from debt concerns credit cards concerns now with minorities and women wanting to get into business he has solutions for that as well with a new division called cmf consultants so we've got that but on a lighter side you know, I know Rob doesn't deal with this 24-7, although in his life it might seem like oh, he does. God. But I do know that he is an aficionado when it comes to playing the guitar or the guitar, as they say in some places. Um, so talk about you have a band, you have the Pocket Aces. We have a band called Pocket Aces. Yeah. Now, if anybody knows about poker, the best hand you can get to start a, hand, a poker hand okay. is, is two aces and the, the two hole cards. Okay. Those are called pocket aces. So uh -huh. our group is called pocket aces. Gotcha. See, I learned something. Too. And I have an incredible two, two, two musicians with me. I have my friend Tom and our singer Anna, and we are a trio. And we're going to be doing a gig pretty soon, and we'll give information out to you for all the different – Places that you want. Absolutely. You know, he, he, Pocket Aces uh, has done some music uh, uh, backgrounds for my, for me on some of my other shows that I do. By the way, speaking of other shows, then coming up, uh, Rob and I are going to be guests on some show on this network called Doing It With Styles. I, I don't know who the host is on that, but uh, we're going to be on there. I understand it's just, Harry Styles, <laughs> right? That's a Harry Styles. <laughs> John Styles' show, uh, Doing It With Styles, Rob and I will be appearing as guests on his show. I don't know why. He must be scraping for guests. So he says, hey, you guys are here. You want to do something? Sure, we'll do something. No, seriously. So we know Doing It With Styles is a great show on the network as well. And we appreciate the opportunity to meet everybody on his show as well. So that'll be coming up uh, probably the next episode that you'll see of Doing It With Aces. But Doing It With Aces. Geez, you got me pocket aces. Doing It With Styles. Wow. It's been a long day. But anyway, so get. I just wanted to mention that. So let's yes. get back to it. Um, so we're, we're talking about financial support. We're talking about credit. We're talking about ways of helping women and minorities with CMF, with workshops and everything else. How do you kind of put a bow on everything that's out there? Um, well, the debt lifeline is the name of our show. So maybe right. that's, that'll help. That, 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 that'll help. That's, <laughs> a, that's, that's the bow. Financial crisis management is another bow, you might say, a ribbon or a bow. Mm -hmm. um, and I could use the word financial crisis management as my tagline. Sure. I can't use it as the name of a company in the right. state of Nevada. Sure. Because of the word financial. Yep. So um, we just tie it all together. We solve problems. We help people get money. Mm -hmm. And by the way, we talk about we talk about CMF. Yes. We do help women and minority, but you don't have to be a woman or minority to get to help us get to help for us to help you right. get funding. Right. It just that's where we're marketing is to women and minorities. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to be a woman or minority. You could be a, a um, you could be a guy or not, or not from you another from wherever. Yeah. Not a, you know, because there you go back to more or less the traditional SBA yes. availability. Yes, and right. there is great programs with the SBA, and, mm -hmm. uh, and we have other lenders. That lend on um, buying a business per se, okay. or buying. Or if you have assets in your business, assets can be receivables. They can be they can be equipment. Whatever is a value, basically property yeah. value. So there there are. We have if there's any type of a business loan or money that's needed, we can do it. Okay. Uh, a, a, another thing is called a bridge loan. Mm -hmm. No, we're not lending to build a bridge. <laughs> The bridge loan is a temporary I know loan. I can sell you, but anyway, that's a whole other story. In Brooklyn. Right, exactly. Swamp land. Um, so if you need short-term capital, we can help with that. Mm -hmm. But again, there has to be some substance there. Right. There has to be some um, assets or something to attach to. Mm -hmm. We even do personal loans, although that's not what our focus is. It's something that we, we generally shy away from. But we help people who have good credit get personal loans. We just sure. help somebody mm -hmm. that has excellent credit. She makes good money. Mm -hmm. We just got her personal loan to pay off her credit cards. There you go. So we do those as well, too. Okay. Um, 
Let me ask you, let me ask you a question the other way. Is there anything in the financial support that you don't particularly get involved with to help people? Is there some scenario uh, or, or do you make that determination when you sit down, obviously, with the free consultation? But is there anything? There's area- generally there's generally a way to skin a cat. OK. And I look for all the angles, I look okay. for all the ways to skin. When I do my consultation, mm-hmm. whether whether it's for helping raise money on a project or helping them get a, a business loan, a minority loan, whatever it may be, or solve their debt problems, <clears throat> I look at all the angles. I give somebody all their options. Okay. So it's not just on loans and mm-hmm. funding. Mm-hmm. It's on their debt. It's on their bureaucratic issue. It's on their mortgage issue. Whatever they may have, I solve. I, I can look at all the options and I present to them all the options. I don't present what's best for me. Right. And this is really key because a lot of companies will will just try talking to what's best for them. Right. Because that's where they make the most money. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I give you a plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, and plan E. Mm-hmm. And I talk about the pros and cons between A, B, C, and D, and E. Right. Okay. And which one I re- recommend. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna. It's not always the one that's best for me right. or the most financially lucrative. But you don't want me. it, like you said, you don't want it to be the best for you because then your focus of what's important is off. I go to bed at night. Knowing you did right. Knowing you did right. Yeah. Um, I do the best I can for people. I get people coming back after 20 years, mm-hmm. um, getting themselves into trouble again. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I can name, you know, I can give examples of all those types of things, but just people come back for that. Mm-hmm. I'm, um, I'm a kind of a go-to guy. Mm-hmm. Um, recently had a pro- I recently given a case where, where a gal was on disability and the disability ran short and we got the disability to expend about six more months. Okay. It was a small deal in, in the scope of projects we work on. Mm-hmm. But we got her additional money. And our, our, our fees are minimal. And um, I just remember doing that project. And last week I was seeing the person that actually referred that person to me that couldn't make me enough for that. Right. So we get we get a lot of little deals like that. We just recently stopped someone who got was sued. Uh, we made a settlement. We got the credit card company. It was a really small uh, small deal. We put mm-hmm. a lot of time into it. Sure. But we saved them a lot of money on a small deal. Mm-hmm. They, they were being sued by by a credit card company. Mm-hmm. Is there any dollar limit on any situation? Let's say a credit card issue or whatever, where based on fees, based on everything else, where you know in the back of your mind that from a business standpoint. Um, perhaps it's a situation where it's, it's a financial loss, and I, I'm just going to word it that way, for you as a business person, for all the effort that you put in and your support team to put in to try to solve it versus what it's worth from that standpoint. I mean, or you just want to help everybody, more or less. Great question, by the way. That's why I asked so, the tough so question. Let me try to pose it this way. <laughs> if the debt or the total debt is less than $5,000. Okay. <clears throat> It's not really financially feasible, mm-hmm. but we do the work. We'll take on okay. we'll take on the client. <clears throat> An example, I mean, how much can a person save on a five thousand five thousand dollars worth of debt? Right. Especially if it's five cards. Mm-hmm. Well, they're an average of a thousand dollars a card. Right. How much are they going to save? Right. And the time we put into it. Sure. Because we put a lot of time into all of our clients. Mm-hmm. We give them all personalized service. Mm-hmm. When you want to reach me or reach Lisa, who, who manages all of my files there. Mm-hmm. You can find us. Right. You know, we're we're easily available. You don't wait on hold for three hours. Right. You don't have to plug in all these different numbers to amuse yourself. Mm-hmm. We're we're responsive, and that's something I want to say is that we are responsive to people. I, I do want to I do want to be transparent here as well as I always try to be. Uh, Rob's company is actually helping my wife and I with my wife's student loan debt from when she was in school, and when I reach out to Lisa, who you just mentioned, or Monique, or the ladies involved. It's immediate return. It's immediate. That's content. the way we you do it. You don't even bother calling anymore because I know it's <laughs> Lisa and Monique. So. You know, you, you <laughs> but they get, are very responsible. You get, you, you know, Monique fits my company profile. Monique yes. is now Monique has been on our show before. Yes. If you remember correctly? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Monique, um, God help me for saying something nice about Monique, but she has, <laughs> you know, she has been working with me on and off for six years. Mm-hmm. 
and we work well together and she's done a lot of great projects and she is now the manager of our new of our new division mm -hmm. uh, she's 100 percent in charge of that new division because she's competent she's responsive and she works in our well in our system right lisa who manages my files are on the rgc side the debt side let's say mm -hmm. the financial crisis management side yes. <clears throat> have been working with me for 12 or 13 years now mm -hmm. And both of these ladies, I could I could maybe speak to, could be three, four, five times a day. Sure. And we go over all the files together, and we're organized and responsive, like you said. Mm -hmm. The the $5,000 and less is a, is a tough number uh, because <clears throat> we put a lot of time into a deal that might bring us a couple hundred dollars. Sure, sure. <clears throat> and our rates are low to begin with, but, I mean, by the time you – put the hours into it, it doesn't translate into anything big. Right. And but a so, lot of people have no sense, place else to go. So we, right. we, will, we will take on those clients right. um, because if you take on the, the little clients, you wind up getting some big clients along the exactly. way. I don't just cherry pick, for lack of better words. Right. Well, a lot of, you know, businesses like yours, a lot of it is based on word of mouth, the support and satisfaction and, and, uh, and referrals. I mean, that's mm -hmm. really what, about, what the bottom line is. So you would not have been in business for over 30 years if you have not been doing what you do to help people and satisfy them. Because like you mentioned at the top of the show, you up to this person who then referred to this person they referred to their children and children and children. And then you get those people back maybe 20 years later. So, re, you know, 60, is it 60 or 65% of just about every business is based on referrals and, and you know, sat, customer satisfaction. And you would not be in the business as long as you have been if the people you've worked with are not happy. I know. That's, That's the bottom line. And, and whether it's you or the service provided because of your support team, the bottom line is all of that goes into the package of satisfying that client. Now, our services are not just limited to the uh, continental USA. Mm -hmm. um, so that leads you to bring to Alaska and Hawaii, which is part of the U.S. So it's right. But clearly... I do know you've helped somebody in Canada, though. Yes. <clears throat> and the last... The last settlement we made for somebody in Canada saved that person about 75% of their money. And that's huge. And that's even without the conversion of the Canadian dollar to us, uh, to the U.S. dollar. But bottom line is, is that you can help somebody somehow, some way, even if it's, if it's somebody who's in an area where you can't service for whatever the reason, you have affiliates and people that you know who can help these people uh, with your... Well, <clears throat> I was direction, but with your reaching your affiliates to say, please, here's a client that. Well, I have them. I have a lot of attorneys in, in my in my in my system, my support system, because mm -hmm. I've I've worked with and for attorneys in both in both coasts. Because mm -hmm. I've always had offices in law firms, mm -hmm. so I do have I do have attorneys everywhere where I need them. And <clears throat> you mentioned the word affiliates, which is a great because mm -hmm. we also have a referral source we call them affiliates and we're going to now formalize mm -hmm. our affiliate program and we're going to start marketing to affiliates to another project which hurricane monique is going to have to <laughs> she has a new nickname oh boy can't wait to talk to hurricane now it's, but uh, listen it, it's a support that's out there and i wish some of the things that you teach people or you review with people are lessons that can be taught within the schools to to seniors in high school who and i know some schools now do offer like basic financing like check i should be and stuff but i'd like if, to see if i could market myself properly right uh, i should be speaking at at colleges mm -hmm. It's a shame that you don't people that the, the high schools and colleges don't offer what i what i teach right and um, <clears throat> I've always wanted to do that. Now, many, many, many years ago, mm -hmm. I used to speak at a chiropractic college mm -hmm. in L.A. on, I think, an every other week basis. It was called Cleveland Chiropractic College. Okay. Or Cleveland Chiropractic School. Cleveland in California? Yes, it was okay. called Cleveland. And <clears throat> I used to speak to a graduating class every few weeks okay. over there and, and teach them about what the pitfalls they have because they're – People that now have degrees, mm -hmm. but don't know anything about business. Right. I was teaching them how to start a business, how to get money, mm -hmm. how to get get equipment, things mm -hmm. like that. Um, they should, you talk about morals here, they should be teaching people in colleges, and they should make a requirement about 
understanding credit understanding credit and how credit works <clears throat> and how to get credit and, and the credit. importance of credit yeah as, as well which we don't also talk and, about and um that's something that i should do but i gotta build market to that. i gotta, yes, yeah, gotta build to that. that well and of course that would be great topics although here. i have an incredible contact that you and lv now oh, do you yeah. that's good that's good because then if you do a workshop somewhere perhaps our studio producer can go out on site with you and record some of that stuff for you as part of your we, workshop. We, we should have. <laughs> he's definitely saying yes he's, back there. He's saying, Notice I didn't turn yeah, when I was yes, starting to say but, that. But he's saying, he's saying that we're number one. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> okay. <exactly> twice. <laughs> it's right. We're number 11. Yay. <laughs> so I should be, I should be doing classes at the colleges offering to talk sure. about the importance of credit and, and how to avoid bad credit and stuff right. like that. And it's, it could, I used to teach, I used to have credit workshops, by the mm -hmm. way, because it's easy to market a credit workshop. Of course. So I was doing credit workshops, <clears throat> giving examples about credit reports mm -hmm. and what a FICO score means. Right. You know, and we could do a whole. We could do. We could actually do a whole show on the credit and use that as a as a video for that. We can do and that. talk about credit reports and FICO scores, the origination of FICO scores. Mm -hmm. Do you know that they were started about? I guess more than 25 years ago now, but maybe, but not that many more than 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. It used to be, it used to be, um, it was just, they would look at an analyzer score sure. and analyze who you are without knowing right. the score. Right. And so these guys sat around and probably a few drinks or a few <laughs> other things, a guy named Fair and Isaac come and mm -hmm. they created a company and they created FICO. Right. And so it used to be, <clears throat> before Experian was a company called TRW, mm -hmm. an engineering company, yep. right? An aerospace company. Yep. So um, I think we're, that's you, you asked a great question and I think we're going to talk about that. We'll lead now. into that. We'll do uh, a show completely on credit. We'll, yep. we'll give examples of credit reports mm -hmm. and examples of how to monitor your reports and so Absolutely. forth. Absolutely. Well, you know what time it is. The meter's running out already. Can you believe it? I have to go outside and put another quarter in the machine. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Because we have something else to do after this show, so I don't think we'll have time for that. Okay. This week. But, listen, a lot, a lot has gone on, a lot of recapping, a lot of great information about the new products and uh, new division to help women and minorities. The Meetup Group, Women and Minorities Funding 101 on Meetup and on Facebook. So check all that stuff out. If you have any questions or you want to register for that free cons consultation with Rob, 702-701-2992. Of course, right, if you're watching here on Facebook, you can message Rob direct here to set up that consultation. I can't wait for next week's show, man. We're back on the air. Hiatus is over, so we got to get back to work. I'm excited. People. So, sir, final thoughts as we say goodbye. We want to thank all of our followers. Because not only do we have the followers from the new studio and Roku and everything else, we also have our own followers following. That's right. We do. With that, as I always like to say as I close on every show, be kind to everybody. Why is that? We're all we have. We'll see you next time right here on the Dead Lifeline. Mm -hmm.